significant figures and calculations. What we want to do today is to figure out what the rules are when we're doing calculations in chemistry. So my first example is going to be 7.235 times 0 0.015. Well first I need to figure out how many significant figures are in each number. So the first one that I look at has four significant figures. The second one, leading zeros do not count, so this one only has two significant figures. So between four and two, which is the smaller number? Well, two is. So our answer can only have two significant figures. Our next example is 3.75 times 10 to the fifth divided by 2.5. Again, we need to figure out how many significant figures are in each number. So our top number has three significant figures. Our bottom number has two significant figures. Between three and two, which is the smaller number, two. So our final answer can only have two significant figures. Now, what if I have an addition example? So let's say I have 4.7932 plus 1.57. The rules are a little different. First you want to find the last place that both numbers have in common and put a box around it. So this is the last place that your final answer can have a number in. So when I add these together I get 6.3632. Now I need to know if I need to leave the name, number the same or if I need to round up. Well the number to the right of the 6 is a 3 so that means we're going to leave the number the same. So your final answer would be 6.3632. The same rules apply when you do subtraction. Now, what if I have a combination of a whole bunch of things? So let's say we have 3.215 times parentheses 7.3 plus 2.75 divided by 2.319. Remember your rules of operation, you do parentheses first, so I'm going to line these up on top of each other, and then I'm going to add them. We box the last place they have in common. The 5 tells us that we have to round this up, so this is going to be 10.1. So now, what does it look like? Well, now my equation looks like the following. So now we're only multiplying and dividing. So now we need to look at how many significant figures are in each number. So the first one has four, the second one has three, and the last one has four. So which is the smaller of the numbers? The three is. So our final answer is going to have three significant figures. So when I did this on my calculator, I obtained 3.25 I find the third number that is significant. I look to the right to see if I need to round up or leave it the same. It's a zero, so it will be the same. So my final answer will be 14.0.